before we go into the recipe, I just like to say I haven't posted anything for the past two weeks simply because we had to reopen our restaurant again. We took a three months break because of the lockdown and finally we're able to open again. So I was just a bit busy. But anyway, we're back. And the last episode when I posted the halal version of banh mi, some of you requested for me to do the chili banh mi version. So guys, this is for you. First of all, we're gonna start off with our dough. Alright guys, so now we've got our dough resting in the fridge ready. Now we're going to move on to our condiments, yeah? The most important condiment in chili pan mi is the chili. Dry shrimps in, chilies. So the trick with this is you want to stir fry it in a really low heat, yeah, so that it doesn't turn dark before it turns nice and sort of crispy. Season with some salt, a touch of sugar. Stir it around. A good indicator to know that this is almost done is when you see it starts to foam up. You get all these micro bubbles. That tells you that most of the moisture has already been evaporated and your fibers in there are sort of really nice and crispy. All right, so the chili is done. That's out of the way. We're going to go into our mince and our anchovies. Remove the stem, slice. Some garlic, two cloves, smash, mince. Garlic in. Get it nice and fragrant. Mushrooms in. Beautiful. Mince goes in. Break it up. A little bit of dark caramel. And this is done. Fry your anchovies. All right guys, so we've got our condiments ready. We've got our chili done, we've got our mince and also our anchovies. Now it's time to roll out the dough. Okay, we need a little bit of dusting flour. Let's dust the board with a little bit of flour so it doesn't stick. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut it into three. Using a rolling pin, roll it out. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fold it in fold it in and now we've got a nice even shape okay now into the noodle maker start at number one go twice and then move it out to number two and for each number I usually do twice now you've got this nice long sheet all right, so once you've rolled out your dough, roll our noodle out. You can see how the noodle just falls down and it's already nicely cut. There we go. You have noodles, guys. OK, 
Okay, now for those of you who do not have pasta makers, uh, don't worry about it. You can still do this. It just requires a little bit more muscle. You've got to roll it out with a rolling pin. Um, as thinly as possible and you have to get it even. Okay, now once you've done that, then you can cut it to your desired noodle shape. I'll show you how you cut. Okay, dust it with a little bit of flour. Okay, and then fold it in half fold it in half again. Now you use a knife. What we're going to do is we're just going to cut down. You want to cut it nice and even so you get noodles that are similar to what the pasta maker has done us. Okay, there you go guys. So now we're going to poach an egg. Crack my egg in there and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently pull back this cling film and I'm going to tie it into a little ball. Turn so you get like a nice little sack of egg. Tie a knot and it goes and just let it poach away. The vegetable I'll be using for my chili pan mee today is bak choy. Vegetables done, we've got our eggs done. Last, I'm gonna start blanching my noodles. Noodles goes in, always use a chopstick. All right, so once your noodle is still piping hot, what I like to do is I like to douse it with a little bit of shallots oil and fish sauce because I love my noodles savory. Give it a good mix, toss it around. So the shallot oil will sort of make it nice and loose. Yeah, prevent the noodle from sticking together. We've got our noodles ready. It's now time to assemble. You get some of this nice crispy chili and place it right on the side. Get your mince. Anchovies, nice crispy anchovies, vegetables right on the side. And finally, our beautiful poached eggs right on the top. And there you go, guys. That is my version of chili pan mee. Hmm. <laughs> Guys, chili pan mee is the bomb! Alright guys, so this is my halal chili pan mee. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. If you think it's add value to you, do hit the like and subscribe button. And if it's not too much to ask, share it with your friends, okay? Now, if you want to go back and watch my first pan mee recipe, which is the soup version, the link is right up here, okay? Take care guys, stay safe, ciao! Oh, chili pan mee really is so delicious, you know what I mean? And if you can learn how to make this chili oil, right? You never have to buy chili oil ever again. It can go with almost everything and anything. It's so delicious. Mm. All right, ciao.